Hello. Have you ever wondered how people know when you join a server? Or how they see better than you in the trees? Well, today I'll answer your questions about most of the settings in ARK and which are best for PvP. Let's run through this quickly, as I do not want to bore you. Feel free to leave a comment asking any questions on settings that may have not been clarified or you just didn't understand and I will answer you as soon as possible. For PvP purposes, and if you're a streamer, the first setting we will need to adjust is the music volume. This is just distracting and can cover up sounds of players running, shooting, and etc. Pull the bar all the way to the left to disable it. Ambient and NPC volume can be distracting as well for PvP. They are best left off. Personally, I'm unsure why they added ambient sounds to the game. The game is full of dinos already making sounds and hearing wolf howling puts you on edge looking for where the wolves are. This is not a video on how to improve your FPS. If you want a video on getting better FPS, let me know in the comments below. The next thing we need to do is change graphics quality to low, then make adjustments from there. I will warn you, ARK is not going to look great, but you will be able to track players easier. There are a few tweaks we can do to make dinos look better, while still maintaining advantage though. Resolution scale should be set all the way to the right, which is maxed. The next setting to change is view distance. Now some players like to leave this low as it lets you see players anywhere from far off, but not rocks and so on. Personally, I do not like this on low as if I am shooting I would like to know when the enemy is behind a rock, but if you're chasing them on a dino, putting this on low can help. If this is low, bases will still render in a max distance so you don't have to worry about that. Textures is the next setting we will mess with. If you need the FPS, leave this on low. If you want decent looking dinos, turn this up as much as you want. I prefer the setting on high. Ground color density and distance should be off or all the way to the left. This will get rid of all the little plants that cannot be interacted with, allowing for better FPS and vision of layers. Make sure to turn light bloom and light shafts off. These are camera effects that our eyes already do automatically. Unless you're making a film, these are not useful. The same with motion blur. The next setting that matters is the camera shake scale. This should be all the way to the left, so off. Camera field of view or FOV is how much you can see at once. This should be all the way up or to the right. Look sensitivity is up to you on how fast you would like to be able to turn. Having a mouse with a DPI button that lets you adjust sensitivity on the fly is better, but if you don't have that, then just come into settings and change this depending on what you're doing. Lower for sniping, higher for dino riding. I do not like third person offset or interpolation, but that is a personal preference. Test these out to see which you like better. Now we will go into advanced settings. Let's just quickly go through the entire list. Inventory access sounds. This is a personal preference. Melee camera animations. Should be off. Blood damage overlay. I prefer this on. Floating names. This should be on, as this will let you see players names easier so you can track them with third party apps. Join notifications. This should be on as this lets you see when a player joins the server. Chat bubbles. This should be on. This lets you see chat bubbles so if someone you're looking for or just anyone close to you types, you will see a chat bubble near the location giving them away. Camera view bob. This should be off. Anything that messes with your vision needs to be off. First person riding. This should be off. If you need first person view while riding, right bumper, L1, or mouse scroll wheel should put you in and out of first person view. Status notification. This should be on so you know when something has affected you. Fahrenheit temperature. This is a personal preference. Auto chat box. Again, personal preference. Hide server info. Personal preference. Only needed if recording or streaming. Torpidity effect. This should be on. This is just the effect that blinks on the edges of the screen when torpor is going up. It is a good early warning system. Once asleep, this doesn't change anything. Your vision is still blurry and mostly blocked. Chat show online ID. This should be on, as it will show you the Steam ID of the player so you can track them easier. Chat show tribe name. This should be on as well, so you can see the name of the tribe of the person chatting. This helps identifying what tribe is doing what and can help you catch tribe spoofing. Toggle to talk. This is a personal preference. Allow crosshair. Unless you have a crosshair overlay, you probably want this on. Allow hit markers. These should be on so you know if you're hitting your target or not. Color item names. Again, personal preference. Disable menu transitions. This should be on. This allows you to open and close menus faster and without confirmation. Speed is key in PvP. No tooltip delay. 
I'm not really sure what this is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. Disable menu music. Personal preference. Give default survivor items. This one is tricky. If you have a lot of achievements, your inventory will be full of skins. If you do not need access to anything in your inventory when raiding, turn this on to irritate the enemy player when they kill you and try to loot your gear. It will drive tribemates mad as well though. Hide floating player names. This should be off, as again, seeing the names is important in PvP and can give away enemy locations. Quick toggle item names. Again, personal preference. Show item selector, play action wheel click sound, toggle extended HUD info, animation staggering, low quality animations are all personal preferences. With an adjustment to these settings, you should see an improvement in PvP. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.